all my beauties, welcome back. I hope that you've all had a really good week. Um, before I get reading today, I just wanted to thank you all for the love and support you sent me uh, for my grandma. I put a message out on Facebook and on Instagram on the Mystic Love Tarot pages in the week, but if you're not on there and you're just on YouTube, um, I just wanted to say thank you to you all for your love, your healing, your support, and um, in, in quite a difficult time. My grand's out of hospital, it's still very complicated what's going on on with her. Uh, she's a crack in Asia um, and she's doing extremely well um, and probably doing really well from the healing and things that you guys have sent because it's come in leaps and bounds towards uh, towards her and my family and to me. So I just want to thank you all um, personally really. So before I did your reading I just wanted to do that. So what we're going to do today is uh, what are they feeling about you? This is a current update. We're using quite uh, mystical, magical decks. Deck number one, deck number two. Pick your deck, think about you, think about your person and as you do that can you feel your energy being pushed into the decks please? Number one, number two. This is the one without the eyes so don't creep out and this is the Marielle Tarot which is absolutely beautiful um, but quite hard to shuffle. So number one, number two. Okay. That's lovely. Right, let's go. It was just saw the vortexes coming towards the cards then, different kind of colours stepping in. So, okay, let's go. Can you tell me please? So as always, it will work on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of circumstances and situations that you're in. It will just pull out the strongest mutual energy. Um, and So if anything doesn't resonate, resonate, remember it for a later date. Um, and for those of you that think, oh, I don't know, you only need to use, got two decks. Um, it's because if you push your energy into the deck and you watch the really boring shuffling for a minute or two, then it pulls out your mutual energy. It goes into everyone's energy. Okay, think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? And all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. And then I really need you guys to highlight the feelings. Spirit, not, not you. Um... I'm a clear audience, uh, so I hear them. It's just like people talking in my ears. People say to me, if you ever see pictures of me, most of the time I've got headphones on and it's because I need to kind of blank them out a little bit. It's like having the radio on in the background, it's always there. And if you stop and you listen to it, that's when you, you pick up what's being said. So can you tell me what are the people, their people, feeling about those people watching? One, two... What are they feeling about those watching through? Feels like we only need five cards, but we do actually need a little oracle deck as well. So let me just grab one. Uh, let's grab one. Anyone? Let's grab this one. Okay. We'll grab this one. We'll have a look at that in a second. So what your person's current feelings are towards you, you lot are feeling quite frustrated, feeling like nothing has really happened, feeling like, you know, this is really intensely in your energy and your people haven't given you what it is that you're seeking or what it is that you're after. Now your person is having a bit of a break from the situation. With a lot of you guys, there's been circumstances that have made your situations either erupt and you've had these big arguments or the, there has been eruptions in your people's heads and they've kind of backed away from the situation and it's left you feeling in a bit of a cloudy area as if that you haven't been able to really focus on anything else that you haven't been able to breathe properly and you've been searching for this kind of inner freedom trying to step away from it all but every time you do that you feel like you're taking three steps forward and two steps back we are here to tell you that your person is actually kind of mirroring that energy so you're both feeling exactly the same that you've been trying to move yourself forward but every time that you've been doing it you've been pulled back your person hasn't been able to get over this in the way that you think they have they've if they've told you that um, they're fine everything is great they're lying to you um, and there is an element of deception going on here that they are hiding away from what's really happening in their heart they're trying to preserve themselves and say oh you know what the situation hasn't really affected me I'm not really that bothered by it but underneath that there is this kind of inner turmoil going on and your person has got a lot of regrets from how they've handled the situation to being where you are with them at this moment in time and so they are trying to just pretend that there's not a problem trying to take a bit of a break from it 
but it's their internal as you lot are as well. Now they've been seeing you in quite a sexual energy, in quite a dominant female energy. Now remember we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel, um, but with tarot there is female and male cards, so it works on the energy regardless of your sexual orientation or your gender. So they are seeing you in quite this strong female based energy at this moment in time, very sexual, very got a lot of desires towards you. Um, but because they're trying to hide away from it, they're focusing more on sex than the emotional side of things. Reason for that is because if they focus on the emotional side of stuff that's happening between the two of you, they know that they need to do something about the situation. And they're trying to stay strong at this moment in time, try not to really make any moves towards you, um, just kind of standing on the sideline, looking in, seeing what's actually happening. They are watching your social media as well, Spirit are telling me to tell you. And even if you've got them blocked, there are potentially fake accounts going on as well. Um, seeing you in a very so strong sexual energy but also as well that Spirit are telling me to tell you that they see you and their desires. So even though they're hiding away from all of this at this moment in time, they are kind of still focusing on it. It's giving them turmoil in their heart, turmoil in their body, turmoil in their emotions um, and then the sexual energy takes over. Those of you that wonder if they think about you in that way while you're not around, the answer is yes. There is a few fantasies going on between them and you and what's happened or potentially hasn't happened um, and they see that they could have a really positive future with you but they're staying strong and stubborn at this moment in time um, and that sexual energy will take over the heart-centered energy as we said because if they act on heart-centered energy they know they have to do something about the situation so they choose to stay strong with it and not do anything about it they also worry a little bit that you can sometimes limit them their freedom now don't take that the wrong way, I have to tell you exactly what Spirit are telling me. Um, and the reason why they feel that is sometimes they can feel potentially trapped with the situation with you. Um, that they have a number of choices and decisions that they have to make about their own life. Um, and they like the freedom and the ability to do what they want. And sometimes if they feel a little bit restricted. Sorry guys, my storage ran out a little bit, my, my storage ran out then, so I've just had to, hopefully it's going to be okay now. So sometimes they can feel a little bit restricted by you and feeling that their freedom is chained. Um, now, the reason for that is if you guys are not in a relationship, they're feeling that you, even if you're not saying it, they can feel on an energetic level that you don't want them to do certain things like be with other people or text other people, as is, you know, as you're allowed to feel like that. But they can feel that that can limit them. Um, and then they freak out and that's when some of them will go ghost on you. So the best thing for you to do here is to kind of let them lead the way, let them navigate it for you. You know, so if it makes them think that they're in control of the situation, but actually you are the ones that's in control, it's a little bit sneaky, we know. Um, but if they text you and say, hey, what's up? You know, respond nicely, fun, flirty, exciting. If they go ghost, don't text them. If they text you about emotions, then you can talk about emotions. If they text you about going out, then go out with them. Um, if they don't text you at all, though, again, you don't need to message them. Let them lead the way. The egg does not chase the sperm. And I know I said we're never gender specific or sexually orientated, but don't chase them because there is the capacity here for them to feel trapped in this corner and it's not great for you. And um, because if they feel like that, that's when these eruptions can happen and that turmoil proceeds within this energy between the two of you. There is also an addiction energy coming on between the two of you as well. Spirit are telling me to, to well, they're telling me, um, they're saying that, you know, you hit, reach the highest of highs of your person um, and then it plummets and you reach the lowest of lows. And when you're on this lowest of lows, you're seeking for that highest of highs energy. Um, and both you and your person are kind of caught in this cycle, this addiction energy cycle. Um, and that's why sometimes it can feel again that you're both being limited by the situation that's not just you them that's you as well sometimes you feel that you're limited by the situations because you still have emotions for them you have feelings for them you want to see what happens with them and then that limits you in either dating other people or seeing what else is going on etc etc so um, that addiction energy is coming forward as well now on the other side of this your person is thinking through the potentials with the two of you they're thinking that there is different possibilities that can happen here and they do feel that there is a chance that the two of you can give birth to new dreams, to new um, 
opportunities between the two of you almost as if you guys could build an empire together but they just feel that you're both in mucky water at the moment that you've gone through a lot together um, or even if it's not been a lot together you've gone through a lot of crap on your own about your person and um, so they're just weighing it all up weighing up their choices weighing up their decisions about it all there is great potential here for the two of you but your person's been very stubborn really stubborn and not handling the situation in the best way which is then making you lot watching feel absolutely rubbish and absolutely crap so um know that there is emotions here for you they do have feelings for you um but they're just holding on um to this kind of sense of freedom and what's happened in the past at this moment and um, but these desires are going to be what takes over so even though they've been in this kind of darker place the desires are coming to the forefront and thinking that through that is when this new birth of opportunities can come forward and if you guys are not in communication again this is where the energy has been this is where it's going and even though it's just thoughts at the moment spirit are telling me to tell you that their thoughts will turn into action and things will shift back into your favor and may the odds be ever in your favor the other thing from this card over here, I don't know if you guys ever saw Labyrinth, it reminds me of the talking hands and they're saying which way do you want to go, up or down. Um, Spirit is saying with that that just really ride the emotions out, ride the energy out and they're trying to work out what direction they want to go with it all but the pull towards you is so strong with that addiction energy they're not going to be able to break it they will come towards you there is offers coming in of new beginnings new stability and um, feeling strong feeling on top of the power feeling on top of the game but you guys have just got to get through this foggy period at this moment in time they do care for you deeply they do have love emotions for you they're just very stubborn and not handling the situation in a very good way at the moment which is frustrating you lot um, so their feelings are frustrated, feeling a little bit stuck, feeling a little bit trapped, sexual desire, seeing that you guys can have a future together but just being a bit stubborn about it really. <coughs> Let them take the lead. Don't think that as counterproductive either. If you're thinking, oh well if I do that, um, you know, what if they do this, what if they do that. If you let them take the lead and navigate the situation then you're not going to be able to push them, they're not going to be able to push away from you. You know, because um, you'll be the ones that they'll they kind of think that they're calling the shots. But really, if you're echoing their energy, you'll be the one that's calling the shots on it. OK, can I have three oracle cards for deck number one and their person's current feelings? What are their current feelings about the people watching? Can I have three cards, please? I haven't used this oracle deck in yonks. One. many two yeah the the passion between the two of you is what can cause these arguments you know the passion um is what causes these explosions what causes these rows between the two of you it's such passionate energy because the sex and sexual desire is so strong between the two of you this is what can cause these eruptions i don't know if you can see that there you go and um, that's what can cause these eruptions between the two of you but equally and it this is also what causes the addiction kind of energy it's the passion between the two of you and um, there is a need for forgiveness on both parts over here for you um once this need for forgiveness happens that's when the situation will shift forward it's not just on you it's on them as well you'll meet them halfway with this and when you meet halfway that's when your desires can come into fruition from it all um these emotions and stuff that's happened in the past that is potentially still being held on to once that gets released and the the issues that have come from the two of you having such passionate energy will create this new beginning towards you and with the new beginning you have the start about being on the right path things magnetically spirit say magnetically moving forward in your direction so don't get too upset if you're thinking oh god Ali that wasn't what I was hoping for those weren't the answers that I was hoping for and um, your person just extremely stubborn 
you know and when things have kind of gone wrong they can hold grudges and they can feel a little bit let down and hurt by situations but that's not on you that's on them and it's gonna they've got to come towards you in their own time and at their own speed and once they do that that new desire that new passionate energy is there and with the other cards you have you have a new beginning I just got Taylor Swift begin again that actually it's to do with you and your new your person because when they come back to you they're gonna be a new they're gonna be freshly headed and um, fresh headed and knowing what they want from the situation um, it's going to take a little bit of time rough timing on this for your collective energy is about three to four months um, but remember that is your collective mutual energy if you want to look at individual timings just drop me an email okay that's deck number one right let's do deck number two hello my beauties let's go so what we're doing today is what are the current feelings towards you it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all uh, regardless of your individual circumstances and situations so if you're third party if you're single if you're with them if you're not with them just the strongest mutual energy between you all uh, right, think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes, please? Okay, and can you tell me what are their people's current feelings? towards the people watching so we're only going to use five cards from this deck as well and just pull some oracle cards for you what are their current feelings towards the people watching one two three. Oh my goodness what's happening here four the cards are spoke differently we're having six cards okay so there has been towers happening all around you and your person um, now some of this is going to be just your people rather than you um, but your people have kind of been having a little bit of a wake-up call everything's hit them all at once it's been like this thunderbolt out of the blue that they've suddenly had this wake-up call situations have happened around them or situations has happened with you guys and they've had this reality check that shit I need to start changing my life around a little bit here everything's a little bit peak tong it's all gone a little bit wrong and I don't know what direction I'm meant to be going and if you have a look at this card and don't freak out because there's no eyes on them um, if you look at this card there is actually the moon over here and the moon signifies as you know female energy and this moon is facing downward so they're feeling as if they've kind of let you down really upset you really hurt you not handled the situation well and now they're feeling almost as if their karma has been repaid and they're having their comeuppance on it your person is also feeling extremely lonely they're looking to what could have been or what should have been with you and them, feeling sorry for themselves, feeling a little bit, um, I wouldn't say of a victim, but they do feel sorry about the situation. There is an element of remorse coming through here and they still got a little bit of hope that this isn't over between you and them. So if you're worrying that it's over, your person doesn't want it to be over. They're thinking that through death comes new life and where you and your person were before, before these kind of towers hit, where you and your person were before, um, that energy has kind of had to fade away for the new to come be, be brought in. And this is what your person is thinking. So they're thinking actually there is still life in this relationship relationship in inverted brackets there is still life in this relationship between me and, and you lot um there is still a hope here and they do still have hope that there is a way that this can be transformed and reformed um with the moon again in the background over here new growth they do feel alone they do feel sorry for what's happened and they are beating themselves up a little bit about how it's what's happened between the two of you and that's when this towers hit them they know that they have got to do something about this situation before they lose you they're fully fully aware of that um, they're holding on to are still holding on to you still holding on to the world and um, again sexual energy is being brought in here but there is a lot more than sexual energy in deck number two they do feel that there are very strong emotions here and um, you do hold a place in their heart and again they're feeling very sad and low about the situation and potentially their actions that have caused your reactions and your reactions that have caused their actions they do feel sorry about it all there is remorse they are sad about it but they know that they have 
to make a difference now, they have to make these changes and that's why they're still looking towards you. Even though they're sad, even though they're lonely, they're thinking, right, I've got one more chance to get this right, I need to step up my game what can I do? So they are thinking it all through and with that you have them moving towards you and um, you have wild horses sweeping in, you know wild, uh, that was the wild horses by the Rolling Stones, you have your wild horses sweeping in, you have your longer term objectives being met, they want to be with you, there are scars on both your part and their part but they've kind of been a bit of a glutton for punishment in the fact that they know that they've caused these issues, they've caused this upset um, and they're kind of trying to heal the wounds between you and them now and if that hasn't happened yet that is what's going to be happening that they will come towards you and try and heal the wounds from the past so that the two of you can move forward they'll be standing in a much more um, loving, giving place as a masculine energy again never sexually orientated or gender specific but you have the sun behind them you had him looking towards the moon at the start then you have the sun behind him which is going to illuminate the shadows which will then in turn heal this pain they will see what they've done the shadows will be illuminated they'll work through those shadows and come towards you with you know most likely an apology and if not apology a way of skirting around the apology um, but trying to heal the past, what damage has kind of been done between the two of you. And through that you have an offer of a new beginning. You have your Ace of Pentacles over here. Now this is either um, going to be giving birth to new dreams. Some of you potentially are going to get pregnant as well. Um, and this is your new life, life coming in. If you can see over here you have the same flower. Well, maybe not quite the same. But this is them looking at this growth all the background is barren where everything has been gone you have this one flower coming in and over here when this new offer comes in you have this new lust for life this new um brighter happier colors and new birth being given so whether it's physical birth or whether it's birth of new dreams that is coming forward so they're going to make offerings healing these wounds that they have caused um and give you kind of give you what you want really essentially and with that you have your ten of cups as well they'll be feeling in a better place you'll be feeling in a better place all the past will have been put to bed and you guys will be focusing on a future the past will still rear its head on occasions um but you'll both do your best to kind of sidetrack from it deal with it and move yourselves forward so deck number two there is great great potential here their feelings for you at this moment in time are very sad very low regret remorse feeling that they've made a really big mistake, that they've really let you down. Um, but as the shadows are being illuminated, so is the healing. They'll work through this, uh, these shadows, they'll work through the darker side, they'll come towards you to offer helping to heal your heart and you've got this new beginning coming in. And this new beginning between the two of you is a lot more stable than what it's ever going to have been before in the past. New growth, new development and new births. This tower's hit him hard. You know, they weren't expecting it. They weren't, you know, sometimes when these towers hit, it gives the people, your people, a reality check of where they are and what they're doing and how they should be moving themselves forward. And that's what's happened. Okay, let me just get you three oracle cards about their current feelings. What are their current feelings towards the people watching? Any more news, gossip? What can we tell them? Three oracle cards good 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 that number two is good so the cards over here are saying that there is going to be a number of choices now that is down to you lot so your person can come towards you and offer you um to this heart healing your heart offering you these new beginnings offering you this stability but it's going to be down to you about what it is that you guys actually want from the situation don't take other people's opinions and judgments on board make sure that you're paying attention to what it is that you want what your goals are where you want to be and make the choices for yourself don't try not to think about your family and your friends they've got that your best interests at heart but be your own self and make the choices for yourself you lot are going through this period of being quite abundant, so whatever you send out, you will get back. Um, remember that it only takes 17 seconds for a thought to manifest, so try to keep your thoughts on this positive vibration that your person will come back to you, that they will message you, that there is a future between the two of you. Let the universe do its job. You know, hold on to the universe, it will bring it, it will bring the situation towards you. And again, like deck number one, you've got the same card of beginning. There is a new beginning coming forward in deck number two for you lot. 
um, whether you choose to be with this person or whether you choose to have someone else, the choice is down to you, but you will have that chance and that opportunity. They are feeling really bad about the situation, they are feeling very sorry for themselves about it all and they will do their best to make amends to you and it's up to you if you think it's good enough and if that's what you want. And that is deck number two. Okay, my beauties. Uh, so all the contact information is in the description if you want private readings. Um, I also do mentoring. I've got a couple of spaces for mentoring this year. Um, I do past life readings. We do normal readings. Uh, we do development readings. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do development readings. Um, we also do life path readings as well. Any kind of readings you want, really. The only ones we can't do are finance, legal and health um, due to UK law. Um, other than that, we have manifesting plans. We have a whole caboodle of things if you want the help from us. Um, just drop me a message. And once again, I just want to thank you all for your love and support in the last week. It was a, a bit of a rocky week for me and my family, but uh, with your love and support, it's been wonderful. So thank you for helping us get through it. All right, guys. Lots of love. Take care. Bye.